Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Monday, the 14th day of March 2022. And our topic for today is The Work of Grace, Part 1. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, our Maker and our Friend, the Great and Mighty One, the author of the plan for restoration that has reconciled us back to himself. Our Father, we come before you and we say you alone are worthy of our praise, you are worthy of our thanks. We've come hungry and thirsty before you today. We ask that you would feed us with your word, open our eyes to the truths of your word today, and grant us the grace for obedience. Help us to of a truth encounter this grace. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Peter 3, verse 18 reads, But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. 2 Peter 3, verse 18. And our scripture reading for today is from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1, from verse 15 to 17. 1 Timothy 1, verse 15 to 17 reads, This is the faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Howbeit for this cause I obtained mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering, for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invincible, the only wise God, be honor and glory for ever and ever. Amen. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our topic today once more is the work of grace, part one. And our Father in the Lord tells us today that every sinner belongs to the devil. 1 John chapter 3 verse 8 And is a servant of sin. Romans chapter 6 verse 16 A servant in this context is like a prisoner who has lost his or her freedom. For us to be free, we need grace, and this can only be found in the truth of the word of God, according to John chapter 8 verse 31 to 32. The difference between a sinner and a saint is that the saint hears the truth and embraces it, while the sinner hears the truth but ignores it. For example, the Bible says in 1 John chapter 1 verse 8 to 9, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The above scripture contains the truth that set me free some decades ago. Coming from a highly disciplined family, I grew as a moralist and so thought that I was far better than many people. I did not think I was in any serious sin that could warrant my need for a savior. However, the grace of God beamed upon my soul and when I saw my filthy life of hypocrisy, I cried out for salvation. It is the grace of God that brings salvation to humanity. Titus 2 verse 11 However, anyone who trivializes the grace of God is dead already. Noah found grace before God, Genesis chapter 6 verse 8, and this led to his salvation. If, however, Noah had toyed with the grace, he would have perished as well. Indeed, it is by grace that we are saved and we must never deny its importance in performing all God-given assignments as we see in 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. It reads, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. Beloved, the Lord has already made his grace abound toward you by giving his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, as a ransom for your soul. John chapter 3 verse 16 Forsake your sins today and assess this divine provision by surrendering your life to Jesus Christ. It is the only way to escape the eternal damnation 
that awaits everyone who rejects the grace of God. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 7 to 9. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are still considering the topic, The Work of Grace, part 1. It is worthy of note that no believer today was born a saint. And if that is true, then it means that everyone once had a past, a past from which God stretched his hand to us and pulled us out of. For so many of us, we know where we used to be and we know where we are now. And all we can say is that this could only be God. No sincere and genuine believer would take the work of grace for granted. No such believer can also take credit for grace. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 tells us that for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Verse 9 says, Not of works, lest any man should boast. The grace of God we learn in our devotional today exposes you to yourself. It shows you the need for a savior. It is good to be moral. It is good to have principles, but that alone does not save. The chief of all moralists, the best of them all, is still not saved. The desire for salvation, accepting the Lord Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, and continuing in your walk with Him is what turns everything around. We also learned that we must not toil with this grace, as trivializing the grace of God can lead to a man's destruction. The grace of God we learn also is what energizes us and enables us to perform all God-given assignments. In other words, by this grace, we can never be stranded on His assignment. All things will definitely work together for our good. Hallelujah. If you however do not understand or you've not experienced the blessings of this grace that we talk about today, then you need to sincerely cry for the Savior. Our Father and the Lord shares with us one very powerful truth today. He says the difference between a sinner and a saint is that the saint hears the truth and embraces it, while the sinner hears but ignores it. You would notice that It is not as though the sinner never heard the truth, but ignoring it is what leads him to destruction. The same way the word of the Lord comes to us and whoever hearkens to it eats the fruit thereof. We receive the grace today not to be hearers only in Jesus' name. I'd like us to bow our heads now would be appreciating the Lord, would say, Father, thank you for your grace that abounds towards me. The grace of God that liberates us from the captivity and the bondage of the enemy this grace that has restored us back to himself, the same grace that abounds to us, enabling us to have sufficiency in all things. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for making us living wonders here on earth. Thank you for giving unto us the God kind of life. Father, we are grateful in the name of Jesus. Pray also and say, please, Lord, help me make the best of it in Jesus' name. Say, Father, help me to make the best of your grace that is made available to me. Help me not to ignore it. Help me not to look down on it. Help me not to be too familiar with it. Help me not to trivialize it. Help me not to toy with it in the name of Jesus. Pray and ask the Lord that in the name of Jesus, His grace that is lavishly bestowed upon us would never be in vain. Let it always be our advantage. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Lord, so loving and kind, so merciful and compassionate, we thank you for the wondrous works of your grace. Your grace that is able to take a man from the backside of life and transform his life forever. We say be exalted in Jesus' name. We ask that you would help us never to take it for granted and to make the most use of it. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Joshua chapter 24 down to Judges chapter 2. Hallelujah. We sincerely want to appreciate you again for joining us today. We believe you have been blessed and we are glad to have you again. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Share with someone to be a blessing to them. Our hymn for today is from the hymn 11 of our Open Heavens devotional. We will be singing, Let Us with a Gladsome Mind. As you go for today, may you have an awesome and remarkable week in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow again. Have a great day and bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. 
kindly leave a comment you can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached god bless you have a great day and see you tomorrow